Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we are going to be tasting a product that uh, I'm not even sure if Heaven Hill is even bottling it anymore. But this product dates back to the mid-1990s because I was actually involved in the creation of this brand. Okay. It's, old Fitzgerald? It's a called Very Special Old Fitzgerald. 12-year-old, 90 proof. Uh, this is was part of the Bourbon Heritage Collection that uh, Chris Morris and I put together uh, at United Distillers when I was there. Oh, nice. And this is uh, always was one of the favorite. It was, this is Stitzel, or it was originally Stitzel Weller made uh, whiskey that um, was 12 years old and um, bottled at 90 proof. Uh, uh, part of a five collection series that included a Weller Centennial 10 year old 100 proof, a 86 proof uh, George Dickel, an 80 proof I.W. Harper, and a 90 proof old Charter. Um, the Charter was like 13 years old, the oh, Dickel, okay. Dickel was like 10 years old, of course the Weller Centennial was 10 years old, and uh, this, of course, was 12 years old. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's been going since the 90s. Yeah. Nice. And it's interesting. This bottle, uh, they didn't want to spend a lot of money on creating this collection. So this is actually, I believe it was a, uh, a scotch bottle at the time. Or oh. It was either uh, a scotch bottle or a gin bottle, but it was a European bottle design that they were... Uh, Using with the screw cap. <laughs> Which you like, you like a screw cap, I like cap, a right? screw cap, yes. Over a cork? Yes. <laughs> you notice that the, the fill level on this, and of course we've been drinking this, and this bottle was a few years old that I bought at Heaven Hill. This is some of their distillation um, for old Fitzgerald. I think Rosemary and I bought this back in 2018 or 19. So it's about four years old and since I bought it, but yeah. So pre-pandemic. Yeah, pre-pandemic. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a, it's nice a nose. yeah it's got a really nice nose. It's fruity. Yeah, very fruity. Very lots of apple. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Apple caramel. I always get a little bit of a, like a hazelnut. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely the nuttiness. Yeah, you're right though. It's it's very apple forward. Yeah, it's it's, it's a nice little whiskey. You know, mm -hmm. this has always been a good good expression, in my opinion. So let's taste it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's got, yeah, got a it's lot got, got a lot of that apple. Yep, I'm getting caramel and notes. caramel. Yeah. But then you get a hit of, uh, to me, I get a hint, uh, or a hit, I should say, of black pepper. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. oak. Hmm. Yeah. yeah so and and, and this is another, you know, people say that rye gives spice to bourbon. Well, this doesn't have any rye at all, and it's peppery. It's pretty spicy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and the, it's what, 90 proof? 90 proof. That's a pretty spicy 90 proof. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. You see, I think a lot of that yeah, is coming flavor. from the barrel and the yeast. Between yeah. the barrel and the yeast. Right, yeah, this is delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see what it does with the cranberry. It just like makes the apple like a red delicious. Almost. Right. Yeah. And it kind of takes the spice out of the taste, but it comes back in the finish. It does, yeah. Yeah. It holds up with the cran. I think it's very, it's, it's a very good one. And, and sometimes when you have a bourbon with the cranberry, it kind of takes away the fruit. Yeah. This one actually like brings yeah. that apple right there, like right, yeah. right on, yeah. Yeah. Right the tongue. are... Let's try it with it. 
Now that takes the fruit out. Mm -hmm. But it really brings out that caramel, maybe even a little chocolate, particularly yeah. on the finish. I'm getting chocolate on the finish. Mm -hmm. And you can believe it, like the finish is even stronger, I would say. Yeah. Like, but that pepper really comes through with that, uh, yeah, with the nut. It's, yeah. it's really good. Yeah. Very tasty. Very tasty, 90 proof. Yeah. So, uh, when we bought this one, you could only get it at the gift shop down in Heaven Hill in Bardstown. Oh, really? What what price? Do you remember at all? Like oh, it was about? expensive. It was like 120 130 bucks, something like that. I think that's not a bad price. No. This, one. this one's delicious. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm willing to bet, you know, like I said, that was like four years ago or yeah. so. So I'm willing to bet that if they release it now and they put it out there, it's going to be 150 to 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah. But, but anyway, you it's know, it's a good whiskey. If you get a chance to buy a bottle, get it. All right. Cheers. Cheers.